Um, people have always been very complimentary of the drum mix that I get, and it's a lot of it has to do with choice of microphones, being able to use the microphones you really like. But uh, but really, I could just put 57s all throughout on this drum kit and, and make it sound great because. Ultimately, what we're doing here, uh, no matter what your choice of microphone is, is to uh, you know to, to listen closely to the kit in its raw form, and, and then um, recreate that in front of house. Not recreate it, but listen closely to the output of the microphone, and adjust EQ in such a way as to um, increase the musicality, the music, you know, basically what what's known as timbre. When we talk about timber, what we really mean, you'll, you'll see that, and you'll hear me use, you'll see that word. <clears throat> Let's try this again. Uh, often when we're talking about placing mics on a drum kit, we're talking about the timber of the instruments and trying to capture that with a microphone. Um, it doesn't, for me, I could use a, a bunch of old school, regular 57s and still get a great drum kit sound. People love the way I mix drums. They, uh, I get a lot of comments about it all the time. And, it doesn't really matter, but a good set of mics makes a huge difference. And that's because they, a good microphone preserves the timbre of a good instrument. Um, a 57 isn't a bad sounding microphone, but it's dynamic. It has a limited, um, it has a limited bandwidth. And in order to get it to sound musical, it, it generally requires um, some EQ touch-up, specifically some reduction of mid frequencies, maybe uh, maybe some increase of some high frequencies, depending on uh, the tone of, of the particular drum or instrument you're using it on. But that's the real difference between great mics and expensive mics, and, and utility um, standard utility rock mics is that um, a high-end condenser mic preserves the good timbre of a good instrument. And that's what really sets these microphones apart. Today I get to use, uh, again, a wide variety of microphones that are known for their uh, high quality sound. Uh, this, the Shure Beta 50, uh, the Beta 91, the, the Shure Beta 91, which is a boundary microphone that was um, never really intended to go in kick drums. And as you can see, it's a very straightforward um, boundary mic. It's made to lay on a table. Um, it sounds very good, um, you know, in a large room when a bunch of people are talking, but it also sounds wonderful in a kick drum, in most kick drums.